The Capability Maturity Model, CMM. The Capability Maturity Model, CMM, is a development model created by the Software Engineering Institute, SEI, at Carnegie Mellon University. The model was designed to help organizations improve their software processes, ensuring consistent quality in software development and delivery. CMM classifies an organization's process maturity into five levels, guiding them from initial chaotic practices to well-defined and optimized processes. The CMM model provides organizations with a framework to evaluate their software processes, identify areas for improvement, and make incremental changes toward achieving higher productivity, quality, and efficiency. It has been widely used across industries for standardizing processes and is considered foundational in the field of software engineering. Purpose of the Capability Maturity Model The primary goal of CMM is to help organizations develop more effective and predictable software development processes. Some key objectives include Quality Assurance, standardizing processes to ensure software quality. Process Improvement, providing a roadmap for organizations to systematically improve their practices. Consistency, establishing consistency across projects by defining repeatable and reliable processes. Productivity, enhancing productivity by optimizing processes and reducing waste. Reduced risks, minimizing the risk of project failures by emphasizing process control and maturity. The five levels of CMM. CMM defines five maturity levels that represent a continuum of process improvement. Each level lays the foundation for the next, so an organization must achieve one level before moving to the next. Level 1, Initial, Chaotic slash Ad Hoc. Characteristics, at this level, processes are typically unpredictable, poorly controlled, and reactive. Success depends heavily on individual effort and heroics rather than on established processes. Challenges, projects may run over budget, miss deadlines, or fail altogether. There's often little consistency in project outcomes. Goal, to move beyond reliance on individual performance and establish repeatable processes. Level 2, repeatable. Characteristics, basic project management processes are established to track cost, schedule, and functionality. Previous successes are repeatable, and there is some level of consistency in the outcomes. Key Practices, Requirements Management, Project Planning, Quality Assurance, and Basic Project Monitoring. Goal, ensure that successes can be replicated by defining processes that are followed by all team members. Level 3, Defined. Characteristics, the organization establishes its standard processes and ensures they are well documented and integrated into a coherent framework. Processes are tailored to suit individual projects but still follow an organizational standard. Key practices, organization-wide training, standardization of processes, and a focus on both product and process quality. Goal, enhance control over projects by making processes formal and ensuring they are consistently applied across projects. Level 4, Managed. Characteristics, at this level, organizations begin using quantitative metrics to evaluate their processes and product quality. By setting quantitative quality goals, they can better control process outcomes. Key practices, statistical process control, quality management, and quantitative performance measures. Goal, enable data-driven decision-making to predict and achieve desired outcomes reliably. Level 5, Optimizing. Characteristics, organizations focus on continuous process improvement through feedback loops, innovative practices, and proactive risk management. Processes are optimized to achieve efficiency and adapt to new challenges. Key Practices, Continuous Process Improvement, Defect Prevention, Technology Innovation, and Adaptive Techniques. Goal, Achieve High-Quality Outcomes While Adapting and Improving Processes Over Time. Organizations at this level are capable of rapidly responding to changes and incorporating innovative solutions. Benefits of Implementing CMM Predictable Outcomes, CMM helps organizations produce predictable outcomes by standardizing processes, reducing variations, and making it easier to manage project timelines and budgets. Improved quality, a focus on quality management, particularly at levels 4 and 5, leads to higher quality software and more satisfied customers. Increased efficiency, by following structured processes, organizations can work more efficiently and reduce unnecessary steps or redundancies. Enhanced team morale, clear and structured processes reduce ambiguity, 
giving teams a sense of direction and reducing work-related stress. Limitations of CMM Complexity and cost, implementing and maintaining CMM requires time, effort, and resources, which may be challenging for smaller organizations. Resistance to change, moving up maturity levels can mean significant change, which may meet resistance from team members comfortable with current practices. Focus on processes over people, CMM emphasizes processes, which can sometimes lead to overlooking individual skill development and team dynamics. Application of CMM in Modern Software Engineering While CMM was originally developed for software engineering, its principles have been adapted to various industries beyond software. Additionally, the Capability Maturity Model Integration, CMMI, was later introduced to expand CMM's framework, making it more comprehensive and applicable to various sectors, including manufacturing and service industries.